Oi pessoal, boa tarde a todos, sejam muito bem-vindos a mais um Bate-Papo da Brasa. Eu me chamo Gabriel Narras e eu faço parte da Brasa Europa, onde eu sou responsável pelo Brasa Pré, programa de mentoria da Brasa para quem quer fazer graduação completa no exterior. E hoje eu estou aqui no escritório de admissão da Ecole Polytechnique, onde, eu vou tá, onde a gente vai estar tá falando sobre o Bachelor, um novo programa que acaba de ser criado, um programa inteiramente em inglês, e que está com inscrições abertas, inscrições abertas inclusive para brasileiros. É, e para isso, quem vai estar aqui com a gente hoje é o Mathieu Renault, tirando as dúvidas de vocês. Então, caso você não tenha mandado a sua dúvida para a gente, pode deixá-la aqui nos comentários que o Mathieu vai responder para a gente. So, Mathieu, thank you so much for being here. I was just introducing you to everyone. Uh, so, to begin our talk, could you start talking a little bit about the Bachelor Program? Yes, uh, but first of all, I would like to thank you for, for organizing uh, the, this event. And um, yeah, the, the, the Bachelor Program is a, a brand new program um, uh, and uh, it's, a, it's a highly selective program uh, in, in three years. Uh, and uh, the first year is, is quite general. You, you'll study mathematics, physics, computer science, um, and, uh, and in, in the second year you'll have to choose between three uh, double majors, mathematics, physics, mathematics, economics, or uh, mathematics and computer science. Um, yeah. Okay, so, okay. And we know that, well, that Polytechnic is one of the oldest engineering schools in France. It was founded in the time of Napoleon. And that there are already a lot of Brazilian students that are currently here in double degree majors, for example, with Brazilian universities. So what's the difference between these, let's say, old programs of Polytechnic and this new bachelor program? The difference is that uh, the, the bachelor is, uh, is an undergraduate program and historically we were only a graduate institution uh, but we decided to open um, this this program the bachelor program to to attract uh, students uh, from from uh, all over the world uh, because we noticed that, um, that, that there was um, many students uh, who wanted to, to study uh, at Ecole Polytechnique but uh, that, that, that didn't uh, speak French or, uh, and they didn't know how to Uh, join uh, a class prep, a prep school. Um, so we, we created the, this program to um, to attract them uh, to, to and to, to offer the possibility uh, to them to, to study at Ecole Polytechnique. Okay, so talking a little bit about the curriculum of the bachelor program, could you describe maybe a little bit in details what type of subject these students are going ha to have? If it's only scientific, if they have, for example, or if they have, for example, lang language courses. So, uh, Ecole Polytechnique is a scientific institution. Uh, so, if you want to join our institution, you really have to uh, love maths. Uh, you you have to be uh, passionate uh, about about mathematics and sciences in, in general. Um, the as as we are going to welcome students from all over the world uh, in the first year, um, the the idea is that. Um, students will, will discover uh, uh, various subjects, uh, scientific subjects, uh, mathematics, physics, um, economics, and then in the second year they, they choose the, the, the right double major. Um, and, and yeah, we, we also uh, offer sports, uh, it, it's mandatory, part of the curriculum, it's two hours uh, per, per week, uh, humanities and, and social sciences, uh, and, and um, also uh, languages, foreign languages. So if you do not speak French, um, it, it's not a problem because you, you will learn it uh, here at Ecole Polytechnique. Uh, and at the end of the program, you will have uh, a B2 level in French. Means, it means that you will be able to uh, interact easily with a, a French uh, local. Uh, it's like a, an intermediate level. Um, but if you speak French, uh, you can uh, study another language, uh, that, that, that's no problem. Um, our idea, uh, our aim is to shape leaders uh, who are able to uh, take decisions uh, to, to understand the world. So we, of course, for focus on, 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 on sciences and, and, and mathematics, but we also want to uh, broaden uh, the, the, the scope and, and we, we want them 
uh, to, to discover um, new subjects, general culture, so that they can, you know, uh, understand the, the world as it is. Okay, so Mathieu, you, well, we see that it's a very interdisciplinary program from math to French, passing, so, from, passing by social science, and that you want to form leaders. So, but what is the natural continuation of the bachelor program? Is it doing a master here in France? It's, it's joining a PhD or is it just going back to Brazil, to what is the natural continuation? I would answer that it, it's up to you. Um, you, can, you can continue your studies uh, in, in France uh, at, at Ecole Polytechnique, uh, at uh, Université Paris-Saclay. Uh, we, we have like uh, very different masters uh, from uh, economics, uh, mathematics, uh, physics, uh, or you can just uh, go abroad. Um, that, that's why uh, there is a, a semester abroad in the third year, and you'll be able to discover uh, a new a new university. Uh, and, and why not um, do you, your masters uh, in, in, in that university? Okay. And so I think now you have explained a little bit of the bachelor. I hope that you have caught the attention from the audience, but how is the admission process? Uh, are there any exams? It's only uh, letters that they need to write. How is it? Um, there's not uh, an exam, uh, properly speaking, but um, that, that there is. A, it's a, a very selective uh, process. Um, so if if you want to apply, you you just uh, go to a website and uh, you have to create an online uh, account and uh, you have to add the uh, transcripts um, from high school uh, up to university if you are enrolled uh, in, a, in a university um, program, um, a CV, a personal statement, uh, uh, and uh, an ID uh, copy. Um, our admission team will uh, review your application and uh, if you are shortlisted, uh, you have to, to pass an interview. Uh, it's an online interview, so you do not have to uh, to go to, to Paris, to France, to pass the interview. It's online, and uh, it lasts about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Sorry. Uh, and uh, it's it's all about to to assess uh, your level in, in mathematics and uh, about you know uh, your your general scientific culture. Um, your motivation, why you want to join Ecole Polytechnique, uh, and, and we also want to know more about your personality. Um, yes. Okay. And and for the Brazilian students, what are the admissions criteria? Do they need, for example, to have gone through an international high school or just a normal high school is enough? Both of them. Uh, if you if you are like uh, doing a, an IB school. I mean, you, you can of course apply if you are uh, currently enrolled in a, a Brazilian national school. You can also apply that. There's no, um, there's no problem. Okay, and so now that we're talking about maybe the Brazilian candidates, uh, what type of profile are you looking for in a Brazilian that wants to come to the bachelor program? We we are looking for uh, Brazilian students who are. Uh, pretty, you know, uh, passionate about about sciences and mathematics. Uh, I spoke uh, about about humanities and, and social sciences, uh, about sports, but really th this bachelor is mainly about maths uh, and, and and sciences. So uh, I would say that that is the the, the, the main characteristic that we are looking for. Um, we we also um, Pay attention to your curiosity, um, to your extracurricular achievements. Uh, for instance, if you're uh, involved in a particular association, um, in, in, in um, you know, in a social um, um, hobby, uh, you know, uh, we will we'll take a, an attention, uh, and, and you, you'll have to mention it on the personal statement. Okay, so it's more of a, a holistic process, more like we have, I don't know, in the United States and that I'm, I'm uh, that Brazilian students are more familiar with. Yes, exactly. Okay. 
And so, and have you already found some Brazilian students who come for the bachelor program? Are there anyone that has been accepted? Yes, yes. Um, we we are very pleased to um, to to welcome. We will welcome a, a Brazilian student uh, in in September for the next uh, intake. So okay, so Brazilian students that are interested, so they can be sure that they are not going to be alone here. No, in they, yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, Mathieu, now moving a little bit to talk about, let's say, the price or the investment of this formation, are there any tuition fees? Yes, uh, there are tuition fees. They are set to 12,000 euros uh, per, per year uh, for EU students and for uh, 15,000 euros per year for non-EU students. Which is the case for the Brazilian students. Yes, so, okay. uh, And uh, but if you... That, if you're admitted uh, with honors at the end of the admission process, um, you'll be eligible for uh, financial aid, uh, such as uh, excellent scholarships and, and partial tuition fee waivers. Uh, but to be eligible, you, you, you have to be ranked among the first students. Uh, so uh, it means that you, you, your application file is really good and, and the interview was uh, very good and then um, and then we want to give you the opportunity to uh, to join us. Okay. And is there any sort of loan that the students can take for the bachelor? Yes. Uh, we will uh, facilitate the access to, to loans, uh, bank loans, uh, through our foundation. And uh, the, the, the interest are, are, are quite uh, are quite low. Um, it's about one to two percent um, per year. Yeah, per year. We will still discussing the, the, the amount, uh, but uh, yeah, the, sorry, the, the rate, but uh, it's, it's very low. Okay, let's say there are options for yes. students that need to pay for the tuition fees. Yes, exactly. Okay, and when, now talking about housing, does the students need to live in campus, are dorms, how does it work? There are dorms uh, available for uh, students uh, admitted in, in, in the bachelor program. Uh, they can so they can live here uh, on the campus or they can live outside depends of uh, what you want uh, for your for your studies um, yeah. and, okay. and uh, the the room uh, usually has a bed an office uh, uh, internet connection um, shower and, and uh, toilet of course um, however you have to to share the kitchen with with other students uh, that it's good to uh, know each other. Okay, so much. Now we're going to move to the question received from our audience. E pessoal, só lembrando, se você não mandou sua pergunta ainda, você pode pôr ela aqui em comentários, tanto em português quanto em inglês, que o Matheo vai vai responder todas as perguntas agora. Uh, so Matheo, we received a question uh, regarding a little bit the history of Ecole Polytechnique, because we know that Ecole Polytechnique, Polytechnique is a military school and that the French students, they have military obligations. And there are any sort of military obligations for international students? Yes, um, oh, sorry, no. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, it's, uh, we, we under the supervision of uh, the Ministry of uh, Defense, uh, but there is uh, no military obligation for, for bachelor students, not at all. Okay, okay. And well, we received a question also from Laura. Laura has asked if the school records are important in, in the admission process. Yes, they, they, are, import, they are important because uh, the, the admission team can, can um, you know, uh, just know more about um, your level uh, in, in, in sciences and, and in, in general. So yes, it, it's important. Okay, you are, you, are, you are looking for good students. Yeah, a good student yes. in science. Yes. Yeah. And actually, we are looking for the best students uh, in, in sciences. Okay. Well, I'm sure you'll find, uh, <laughs> you find that students in Brazil. And is there any age limit for the bachelor program? No. No, no. No, no, no. no. no so, no, for no. example, someone that is, I don't know, 23 currently in university in Brazil, they can apply? Yes, of course. Oh. Yes. They, they just have to, to provide a transcript from, from uh, the university uh, where they're currently studying, uh, but, but that's it. Okay. And, well, as you have said, Mathieu, the bachelor program is a very international program. You are aiming at having 80% of international students, which is quite a lot. 60%, yes. 60%, sorry, 60%. Yeah. And how are 
Well, how are you going to integrate these students in the French culture? What type of initiatives are going to exist? Yes, thanks for asking. It's a, it's a very um, uh, good and, and important question for us. Um, we really want the students to, to, to feel welcome uh, when they, 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 they arrive uh, on, on the campus uh, at Ecole Polytechnique. Uh, that's why we will um, organize um, various activities. Um, it's like uh, um, we will um, explain you, uh, explain them how, how the, 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 uh, the campus works, uh, you know, uh, how to, to, um, uh, to find the, the canteen and all. Uh, and, and, and also we will have organized some uh, tools um, in, in the first year. Uh, for instance, you, you visit uh, the, the, the Chateau de Versailles, uh, the castle of Versailles, so that you, you'll be uh, able to, to discover uh, French culture. Okay, perfect, Mathieu. And so now that you, now you are, well, we're running out of time for our transmission, and do you have a final message for Brazilian students that want to come here? Uh, why do you think they should choose the bachelor program at Ecole Polytechnique? Because um, we are the leading institution uh, in sciences and technology in France. Um, we, uh, I would say, we, we, we are a small institution and we are very proud of that. Uh, it means that on the campus you have only 3,000 students and the bachelor, uh, the bachelor program, we aim, we aim to welcome 80 students only, so uh, you'll be able to interact easily with other students. Uh, so that that's the um, the main one of the, the main reasons. Uh, it's easy uh, to to uh, to interact and to to, to discover each other. Uh, and and uh, regarding academics, um, we. Uh, very well ranked uh, in, in France, but also in the world. Uh, there was a, a ranking from Times Higher Education, um, and we are, according to this ranking, we're the fourth uh, institution, uh, best small institution worldwide. Uh, so I think we have everything to to make the, the, the those three years um, a really um, valuable uh, time. Uh, and, 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 and yeah, just uh, if, if you have any question, uh, if you if you want to know more about this program, you can just visit our website and um, write us a message. We will be delighted to answer. Um, so so thank you. Okay, so thank you so much, Mathieu. Uh, bom gente, muito obrigado a todos por terem participado de mais esta transmissão. Uh, caso você tenha alguma pergunta e você não pode ver ao vivo, pode colocar a pergunta nos comentários, que a gente vai estar respondendo elas depois. Além do mais, a gente vai pôr nos comentários também o site para o programa do Bachelor, o site para as inscrições. E, além disso tudo, a Associação de Alunos Brasileiros da Ecole Polytechnique, que, faz, que é associada à Brasa, tem uma série de iniciativas para ajudar vocês a virem para a Ecole Polytechnique. Então, nós vamos colocar o link aqui do site, do site criado por eles, com informações sobre os programas que tem aqui na escola, incluindo o Bachelor. E também um link para um grupo Facebook gerido em parceria da Brasa e dessa associação, onde você pode conhecer outros alunos que estudam aqui ou que querem vir para cá e onde você pode tirar suas dúvidas. Então, muito obrigado a todos. Fiquem ligados aí na página do Facebook da Brasa e no YouTube para mais bate-papos como esse. E até a próxima. Obrigado a todos.